<laughs> so today we will discuss how to evaluate the CBD. So CBD can be seen from the three stations, stomach, D1 and D2. So first we go to the proximal stomach. This one is the anterior wall of stomach. By using the up lobe, we can see the left lobe of liver. This is the left lobe of liver. So, if we rotate the scope clockwise, we can go up to the liver hilum. And here we can see a vein. This is a portal vein. And below that, we can see the dilated anechoic structure. This is likely the bile duct. That's the bile duct. So once you see the bile duct, we can trace it down by clockwise and push inside. You can see it is going inside the pancreatic head. So proximal CBD near the hilum can be seen from the proximal stomach. So I will repeat again. So first we see in the proximal stomach, we see the anterior gastric wall, which is on the upper side. Use the up lobe, we can see the liver and then clockwise torque and we can see the portal veins and the CBD. So then we go inside at the junction of first and second part of duodenum. We go to the, that's the pylorus there. That's the first part of duodenum. At the junction of first and second part of duodenum, we will wedge our scope. Now using the <laughs> up lobe, then counterclockwise store, we can see the upper CBD towards the liver hilum. Now it's entering in the right lobe of liver. We can see dilated IHBR and then dilated CBD. So if from here we rotate clockwise and push inside, we will go towards the ampulla. And with the counterclockwise store, we can see the upper CBD towards the liver hilum. So most of the CBD can be seen from the first part of duodenum and we can see that the distal part is not well seen. As CBD is approaching towards the ampulla, another anechoic structure appears. So this structure is the pancreatic duct. So this can be seen below the CBD as we go close to the ampulla. So again, anti-clockwise torch, one can see the CBD in the proximal part towards the hilum and rotate clockwise we will go towards the ampulla. Now we shorten the scopes. From here we shorten the scopes by right and the up movement. So on anti-clockwise source, you can see the two large vessels. One is the first is I think is the IVC. And we can see a venous flow there. So that's the IVC. From IVC, if we rotate clockwise, we can see the iota. That's the iota. From IVC, rotate clockwise, and we will see the iota. That's the iota there. And once we see the iota, Pull the scope and rotate clockwise. Now we can see the pancreatic head there and we can see your dilated duct there. I will magnify here. So we can see the dilated CBD there. Can you see the dilated CBD? And then there is a small stone there. So this is the distal part of the bile duct. And we can see a stone there. So first we see IBC. From IBC we rotate the scope clockwise. We see the iota. From iota we pull back and rotate clockwise. We see the bile duct. 
wild duck is horizontal. Once you rotate for further clockwise, we can see another duck. This is the pancreatic duck. That duck is the, <coughs> you can see tiny duck there, and that duck is the pancreatic duck. That's the pancreatic duck. So once you see the pancreatic duct, if you rotate scope clockwise, we can see the uncinate process of the pancreas. This is best seen from the second part of duodenum. Mm -hmm. And for the clockwise torque, we can see the SMV and the SMA. First we see SMV and then SMA. This should be SMV. That seems to be SMV. We can see the continuous flow there, that's the SMV. And when we rotate scope further clockwise, we can see the artery. Below should be the SMA. Below should be the SMA. So this is the below is the SMA and upper one is the SMV. So we can see the seven structures IVC, then rotate wise, rotate slope wise, IOTA. Then clockwise and pullback is the CBD, then pancreatic duct, uncinate process, SMV and SMA. So CBD can be seen from the three parts, proximal stomach, duodenum, D1 and then the second part of duodenum, D2. So this patient had dilated CBD with stone at the ampulla. If you want to see ampulla more clearly, we can give the busco pen and can use the water inside the duodenum. That will give a good interface. So we can see the water inside the lumen and that's the uh, wild duct there and I don't know. And that's the ampulla. You can see this is the ampulla. You can see small bulge there. So this should be the ampulla. And you can see the stone is impacted at the ampulla. This is ampulla, and we can see here bile duct opening into the ampulla, and the stone is stuck at the ampulla. That completes the examination.